labor and drive them off, and they all said I didn't know. Well, how do we prove that they knew? Well, I, I don't have any senses in my nose. Well, I didn't... Okay. This time, we are being shown it. We are being shown the meat processing from the slaughterhouse. What Mengele was doing, do you know, you realize that we use all of the Nazi experiment stuff? We use it every day. Oh. Most people don't even know that. We use it every day. It's in a big book, and it's in every single hospital. You want to treat hypothermia? Great. Here's how we do it. Let me look it up in the book. That book, all the information came from the Nazi scientists. They all said they were doing great things for humanity. They've all gone through now and have to slowly rename all of the ailments and discoveries that were named after Nazi physicians. Yes. Okay, so we use it every day. And the reason why we use it is because that information is there and well, let's at least give some meaning to their death. But we did that afterwards. We did that afterwards. We tried to say, okay, how can we make up for this? How can we, how can we possibly feel decent about this? Let their death mean something. But we were still against their death. These guys are slaughtering babies right now, slaughtering them in a slaughterhouse. They are picking up their feet. And they're showing it to us on video. And most of us won't look at it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Well, as I told my kids when they didn't want to castrate the bulls on our, on our farm, fine, you don't want to see it. I'm not making you do it. You don't want to see it. You don't eat meat because... And you must see what happens to it. Anybody who says to me, Glenn, you, you've never watched how chickens are raised. Go ahead. Show me the video. I'll watch it from start to finish. I'll watch it from start to finish. And if I choose to eat chicken, that's my business. It's not immoral to kill chickens for food. It may be immoral if they are raising them in immoral ways. That's why I don't eat veal. I don't want it boxed up so it's a little more tender for me. I think that's wrong. But if you can't look at those Planned Parenthood videos, that should tell you something. You're, something is happening, and you are not standing against it. If you're not will, I'm telling you right now, here's test number one on the bridge. You're getting out of the car, into the car. You want to get out of the car, you start standing against Planned Parenthood. And I mean, I had a meeting with my family last night. We are becoming an activist family. I'm not an activist guy. I'm not a guy that stands in vacant places. I'm not a guy who does boycotts. I'm not a guy that does any of that. It's time to choose. It is time now to not conform. It is time now to transform yourself. It is time now to dedicate your body and say, I stand for these things. Number one, Planned Parenthood. There's test number one. Test number two, the slaughter of the innocents in the Middle East. When they are, are you going to talk to me about a bakery, a gay cake at a bakery in the United States over the homosexuals that are being thrown off of buildings? I don't have time to talk to you. I don't have any time to talk to you. People are dying. And you're talking to me about a wedding cake? How about some priorities here, Jack? I feel the same way about any Christians who say, well, I'm not going to talk to you because you're a Mormon. Or, I'm not, or Mormons who say, I'm not going to talk to you because you're a Baptist. Shut up. We can argue about our doctrine later. All hands on deck right now. I will stand with any man who will stand against the slaughter of innocents in the Middle East and in our abortion mills here in the United States. And the third one... Are you going to give $150 billion to Iran? $150 billion last Friday at the mosque, the Ayatollah Khomeini, he stood up in the mosque with a banner that said, Death to America behind him. And he talked about what he was going to do with $150 billion that we are giving him. Take a guess what he's saying he's going to do with it. If we allow Iran, 
when we can't have, when our military men can't have a gun while on duty, but we can give a nuclear weapon to Iran, I want no part of it. Now, here's the deal. I believe we are headed off of that cliff. And this is our last warning. you got three things. And I'm sorry, I know a lot of people don't want to hear this on, on radio, and I don't care. I don't care. I believe God is giving us one last chance. These are pretty big. This isn't like, oh, I don't know, do you agree with health care, universal, or you want it privatized? This is the slaughtering of people. If we can't get this one right, we don't have a right to exist. Our protection will be withdrawn. We are headed for trouble. Now, who's going to stand? I am. I am. This week, I want the guy on for the, that made the abortion videos. I want to get him on, and I want to talk to him. I want to find out if, if you have money to help him fund his organization, let's help him fund his organization. I want Lila Rose on. I don't know how to be a protester at abortion clinics, but I'm going to damn well find out all lives matter.